Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Let's do a prenatal flow today. Start with your feet a little wider than hip width distance apart. Inhale the arms high above your head. Exhale, fold at the hips, bring your head towards the mat, forward fold. You might wanna take your feet a little wider apart. Take your hands to the mat or to blocks and walk your weight back and forth between the heels and the balls of the feet. Inhale to a flat back, plant the hands and step or jump back to a plank, hold plank, really pressing into your hands, drop the knees to the earth, and gently press your hips down as your chest opens forward for modified upward facing dog, and press your hips back, tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. You can roll out the hips, maybe pedal the legs here. Mm, find that sweet spot in your down dog. Come high on the toes and release the heels to the earth. Inhale, come high on the toes. Exhale, heels closer to the earth. Inhale, come high. Exhale, go low. Inhale, exhale, drop the heels, inhale, lift, look forward, walk, step, or jump to the top of the mat, inhale, the arms down, around, and up, exhale, hands to prayer, mountain, Tadasana, inhale, sweep those arms around and up, bend the knees, drop the tailbone down for chair pose. Way into the heels, squeeze the thighs together, nice long spine, shoulders down away from the ears, draw the tailbone down, breathing here, you're stronger than you know, and what can you let go of to stay a little longer? Mm, straighten the legs, inhale, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, draw the hands up the shins to a flat back. Exhale, step back to your plank, lower your knees to the mat. And come into Upward Facing Dog, inhale, exhale, Downward Facing Dog, press into those hands, engage the shoulders, lift the right leg high to the sky, open the hip, bend the right knee, feel that nice deep stretch, maybe take about five circles with the knee. Keeping your arms strong, pressing into the hands. Straighten that right leg up. Tuck the right knee into the chest and plant the foot. Inhale the arms down, around, and up for high crescent lunge. Nice deep bend in that front leg. Bring your arms out to either side. Bend at the elbows for cactus arms. Nice long spine. Action into the feet. Pressing the balls of the feet into the mat. Deep breaths. Find a point of focus. You are strong. And bring your hands to prayer. Step forward. Bring the left ankle on top of the right knee and bend the right leg. Chair pose variation, nice long spine, hands at prayer. Balance. Mm. Straighten both legs, place the left foot down. Bring your feet a little wider apart. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Plant the hands, step or lightly jump to your plank. Lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg goes high to the sky. Open up the left hip. Bend the left knee. An option to take those little circles with the left knee. Kind of getting into that hip socket. Straighten the left leg, pull the left knee towards the chest, plant it, the foot down. Inhale the arms down, around and up. Bend the left knee, press the right heel away from you. Arms out to either side, bend in the elbows like cactus arms. Really pressing into the feet, engage in the muscles and the hip flexors. Nice long spine. Breathing here, you are a warrior. How can you show up today that is different from every time before? Take your hands to prayer, step forward, place the left, sorry, the right ankle on top of the left knee, bend the left knee, modified chair, nice long spine, weight into the heel, hands up prayer. If you fall out, come right back. What can you tell yourself? to stay a little longer. What thoughts can you let go of? Inhale, step down, extend the hands overhead. Exhale, hands to prayer. Mount in Tadasana. Inhale, the arms down, around and up. Exhale, hands to prayer. Lift the left foot slightly off the mat and step it back, placing your heel and toes to the mat. Bend the right knee, warrior one, arms up high, facing your right hip and your left hip forward towards the front of the mat. How can you bring more ease into this pose? Deep, long breaths through the nose. Hands to prayer, step forward to the top of the mat. Inhale the arms down, around and up. Exhale, hands to prayer, mountain Tadasana. Inhale the arms down, around and up. Exhale, hands to prayer. Gently lift the right foot, step back to warrior one, other side. Deep bend in the left knee, slightly angled forward right foot heel to the earth how are you going to show up today when you get out of your head what is possible for you It's 
It's amazing what can happen when we come from the realm of possibility. Hmm. Bring your hands to prayer. Step forward to the top of the mat. Inhale the arms down, around, and up. Exhale, hands to prayer. Mountain Tadasana. Inhale the arms down, around, and up. Slight back bend. Press the hips to the front of the mat. Look up. Exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale the arms down, around, and up. Take your hands together and shoot them over to the left, sorry, to the right. Left rib cage opening. And can you press your feet further down into the earth? And can you engage the arms? Inhale back to center and over to the left this time. Stack the hips over the ankles. How does this feel in your right side body? How can you bring more strength into this pose? Come back to center. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale, the arms down, around, and up. Exhale, forward fold. You can even cross your arms, take hold of opposite elbows. Hanging heavy here over the legs. Maybe a micro bend in the knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank. Press your hips up high to the sky for downward facing dog. Connect with your breath. How can your breath serve as a tool? Lift the right leg high to the sky, sweep the right knee into the chest, place that foot down. Drop the left knee to the mat. Inhale the arms down, around, and up. Low lunge. Press into that front foot. Engage the hips. Scissoring the legs together to create force. Release that tension. Place the left hand on the inside of the right foot. Option to open the right arm back to grab the left foot in your hand. Deep stretch. Release. Place the hands on the mat. Step back to your downward facing dog. Breathing here. Inhale the left leg high to the sky. Sweep the left knee into the chest. Place that foot down. Drop the right knee. Inhale the arms up overhead. Crescent lunge, or sorry, low lunge. Mm, scissoring the hips together. Find your drishti. Option to take the right hand to the inside of the left foot and open the left arm back to reach the right foot. Deep twist, pressing the foot into the hand. Release, plant the hands. Bring both knees next to each other in tabletop and press your hips over your heels for a relaxing child's pose. Forehead to the mat. Option to take a pillow beneath your tailbone if that helps. How does rest feel in between times of uncertainty? 
Mm, press yourself up to seated. Bring your legs out wide into straddle pose, pressing your hips forward. Inhale the arms up overhead, flex the feet, and start to walk your hands forward until you find your edge. Keep the legs engaged, pressing the backs of the knees down and flexing the toes towards the shins. Only go as far as you're ready for. Listen to your body. What is your body telling you today? How can you find ease in the difficulty? Walk your hands back up. Lift your right arm up and over towards the left toes, pressing your left hand into your left leg to engage the upper body as if your chest is in a between a two planes of glass. Breathing here. Legs are still engaged. And sweep the right arm over to rest on the right leg. Left arm sweeps up and over towards the right toes. Mm, open your right sh or your left shoulder back a little bit. Beautiful. Notice how when we engage in a stretching position, how it's so much more forceful. There's so much more structure and balance. Come back to center. Option to take your hands behind your back. Sit up nice and straight. Breathing here. Release, can bring your knees together. Start to face the front of the mat and gently lie down on your back with control. Mm, take your heels just below your hips, palms of the feet pressing into the earth and lift your hips towards the sky. Shoulders and palms of the hands press down. They root down to rise up. Lifting those hips. Squeeze the knees together. You're a warrior. You've got this. Gently release the hips down. Take your feet to touch the edge of the mat and allow your knees to fall into center. Notice the difference in the feeling of the low back. Mm -hmm. Gentle body scan. Check in with yourself. Mm -hmm. Feel the breath rise and fall. Can bring your feet back to center. Lift your hips up and over to the left and let your knees fall over to the right. Arms out into a T. Option to gaze in the opposite direction of your legs for a lying spinal twist.
Bring your hips back to center. Bring your knees back to center. Gently lift your hips slightly to the right and drop your knees to the left this time. Gaze in the opposite direction. Taking this opportunity to get centered and breathe. Feeling that breath through the body. And bring your hips back to center, knees back to center. Let your legs come long down the mat, arms long by your side, and let everything fall open. And gently close off the eyes. Breathing here. Option to take a pillow or a bolster beneath your spine if this is uncomfortable for you. Always listening to your body. What did you learn from today's practice? What challenges did you face? What victories did you have? Honor both. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bring a little more awareness back into your body. Gently roll over onto one side. Pressing yourself up to a seated position. You did a wonderful job today. Congratulations for making it to the end. The light in me honors and cherishes the light within you. Take your hands to forehead center and together we bow and say, Namaste. Be sure to subscribe down below and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.